and marriage, love and marriage go together like a horse. Well, it is a question that every husband and wife should consider. Could you be killing your marriage and not know it? Well, in this edition of Marriage 101, Star Chloe is back with some advice on 10 things you might be doing to tear your relationship apart. Star, thank you for coming. Okay. I love your approach for this. You say, listen. These are surefire tips for making your marriage fail. Pay close attention and advice in no time. <laughs> you'll have the divorce you want if you do these things. Right, that's right. Right. Number one. <laughs> okay. Number one. Let's start with number tip number one. All right. You want to enlist the support of your family to take sides against your spouse. Because this never works. Yeah, and, and they can become your greatest fans, Bridget. Mm -hmm. They'll be there to really punch them in the gut. Whenever you need them to. Right. Okay. <laughs> and then the problem is with that, though, and I'm going to give you the problem with yeah. it, and the reason why it's a, a surefire way to end in divorce, if you don't watch it, uh -huh. is that when you when you finally make up, what happens? They're still mad at your spouse. Because they remember everything they you told them it about so your spouse. So keep your mouth shut. That's the point. Okay. Tip number two. Mm -hmm. You said do it your way and do it alone. That's right. Uh, well, how how do what do people usually do? They usually try to do things together when they get married. Mm -hmm. But if you want to really end in separation, divorce, if you want to have tremendous strife in your relationship and go your separate ways, then you do your thing. He does his ah. thing, and they and and then you have your own. And never the twain shall meet. That's the truth. Okay, here's tip number three. You say tune out since your spouse rarely has anything of value to say. Just don't listen at all. That's how you end the marriage. There you go. It? That's right. There you go. You don't want to listen. You want to ignore. And besides, they don't have anything important to say. You, you're tired of listening anyway. You've been listening to them all this time anyway. Mm -hmm. So, and then the point here with the problem with that is that unless you do listen, you're not going to have a relationship, right? What if I were sitting here and, and I was ignoring you, Bridget, and I was just sitting around letting you just talk sure and talk? Sure, fire killer That's for right. relationships. That's right. Number four, you say be angry, irritated, and mean all the time because you aren't in a popularity contest. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Right? Right. Oh, my goodness. I mean, many people think, well, I don't have to make her happy. I don't have to be, I don't, I'm not about to walk on eggshells, and they'll end up just throwing it all in, throwing the towel in, and they, they get angry. They don't watch what they say. They don't keep a guard on their lips. And mm -hmm. they end up causing tremendous damage with their mouth. Okay, tip yeah. number five. This one will end the marriage. Spend the money faster than you and your spouse can make it, and by all means, put everything on credit. That's a killer right there. <laughs> That's a killer. Yeah. That's right. How many people do we know? We counsel many people, and their credit card debt has gone mm -hmm. up to 20 grand, and they end up saying, My gosh, where did that 501k go? I don't have any idea where it went. So, yeah. and there's another yeah. stress. Mm -hmm. Tip number six you say, Go out with your friends daily, but leave your spouse at home. Yeah, well, that, there you go. I mean, most people don't realize when you get married, you give up bachelorhood and bachelorette hood. You're oh, together. You're doing star. this together. Yes. That's right. Yes. Okay, tip mm -hmm. number seven. Mm -hmm. This one is a biggie. Watch out. It's Sunday morning. You say <laughs> manipulate by withholding sex, and then whenever you want it, only be mm -hmm. concerned with your own satisfaction. Big problem. Yeah, absolutely. That's what many couples do. And then what happens is they end up finding it somewhere else. Yes. Okay. How mm -hmm. about this one? Tip number eight. You say this is another surefire way to head to divorce court mm -hmm. is to criticize and belittle your spouse, in especially in front of the children and in public. Oh, yeah. That, that is so destructive. It hurts the children also. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're raising, like I always say, little husbands and little wives everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we want, we want to make sure we do not criticize in public. We keep a guard on our mouth because that can end up damaging it to the point of no return. Here's a big one in the technology mm -hmm. age in which we exist. You say work to Develop intimate online relationships with the opposite sex and then follow it up in person until you have a full-blown full affair. That's going to kill a marriage. Oh, yeah, it sure will. And many people go online and just have that relationship online and mm -hmm. secret and without anyone knowing about it. Yes. And it ends up eroding the very fabric of the marriage. And can't start the emotional relationship sometimes be more devastating than the physical one? Oh, absolutely. One? Okay. Absolutely. Brings us to number 10. You say mm -hmm. this is a way to kill a marriage. Don't talk, listen, or share your feelings with your spouse ever. But if you accidentally fail at the silent treatment, be sure to yell and curse at them. Oh, yeah. There you go. If, if you forget and you talk, well, then you want to start yelling and cussing and throwing all kinds of slams their way. That way you can definitely end up in divorce. Yes. If you do it on a regular basis. Now, you have to do it all the time in order for it to work. Yes. Yeah. These are things I think, Star, that people <laughs> in daily interaction don't think about. Mm -hmm. But those are the little things that can chip away at the fabric and the foundation of what you've spent years sometimes yes. building. That's right. So the main thing is behind all of this, it, we we do it comically this yes, morning. Yes, tongue in but, cheek. But what we want to do is make sure that people understand. Keep a guard on your lips. 
do a lot of touch, a lot of love, eye contact, spend time together, and consider your spouse more than you consider yourself. Yes, indeed. Star. And we'll be talking about that on the air on KKYX Fantastic. this weekend. Fantastic. First of all, let's tell people about your Marriage 101 classes. You can join a class at any time. They're already in progress. They go until October 1st, and if you'd like to register now, 210-521-8668 marriage101.net that's where you can sign up and get some good information in stars class and also don't forget star is on the radio every saturday morning on kkyx from 10 to 11 a.m talking about marriage 101 this is where you can call and ask all those questions if you can't take part in the class for some reason 210-521-8668 and next